Before we get into today's Chicago Bears video, I want you guys to do me a favor. Subscribe to our main Chat Sports YouTube channel. You see the link below. It's youtube.com slash chatsportstv. And the reason why is A, Chicago Bears now would not be possible without Chat Sports. And B, we're closing in on 250,000 subscribers. We post NFL videos over there every single day. Sometimes you see me on that channel as well. YouTube.com slash chatsportstv. Let's get to 250,000 subs as fast as as possible. Welcome into Chicago Bears Now. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Today's show, Bears breakout players on offense. I'm going to take a look at a few players that could break out on the offensive side of the ball. Now, I do have some rules, if you will, some stipulations on what it means to be eligible for a breakout. For example, rookie's not eligible, so I'm not doing Justin Fields. You can't break out as a rookie. That's just my rule, but I think uh, th I think that's valid there. Must be entering years two through four, a.k.a. a seven-year veteran can't break out. For, by year four or five, you are what you are in the NFL. And then my third point, can't break out more than once. What does that mean? Well, last year, David Montgomery broke out, so he's not eligible. A guy like, uh, oh, I don't know, Allen Robinson's beyond year four, but he wouldn't be eligible either. Established star players in the league or big, at least really good players, they've already broken out, so those guys aren't available. So typically you're thinking youngish players still on their rookie contracts, but that aren't actually rookies, so keep that in mind. Before I get into three guys that I think will break out on offense this year, predict one for me. Give me a name. Name a player on offense that will break out for the Chicago Bears. And you can break my rules. You can say any name you want. Those are just my rules. Let me know what you guys think. Who will break out for this Bears offense in 2021? Number one, and I think the most obvious breakout candidate, maybe even on the whole team this year, that's Darnell Moody. I mean, hey, we, we saw him flash a lot as a rookie. Had Nick Foles and Trubisky hit a couple more deep balls that they missed. He may not even be eligible because there were a lot of yards left on the table. Enters this year as the clear number two wide receiver. Took that pretty early last year and ran with it. He's that speed demon weapon that's just going to burn secondaries all season long. And I think in 2021 – the Bears are going to be able to hit more of those deep balls because they've got better quarterback play. And not just Justin Fields, even Andy Dalton should give you a better chance to hit some of those than a guy like Mitchell Trubisky. That's just the fact of the matter. Mooney to the moon, am I right? I think he is going to take off in 2021. I, I You watch some of his tape. Some of his best tape aren't even completions because, like, for example, there was one deep ball in which he burned Jalen Ramsey, and since the offensive line can't hold up, Nick Foles throws it into the crowd, basically. Just such an inaccurate pass. I think those will be hit this year more often. I think he could push for a 1,000-yard season this year. I really do. 70-plus catches, 900, 1,000 yards. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. He went for 61, 631, and four touchdowns as a rookie in a bad offense. I think if this is a league average offense, he's, he's going over 800 yards. I'm excited about this kid. He's got the right attitude as well. Remember last year, all the quotes from the coaching staff, oh, man, he's attacking this head, head steam ahead. He's going to be a big-time player. And they were right. He was really, really good as a rookie. It didn't take long for him to surpass Anthony Miller as the number two receiver on this offense. We'll see if Miller has a decent year this year, if he's even on this team. But Darnell Mooney, he's established himself as this team's second best receiver. I think 2021 is going to be a big year and a breakout year for the second year player out of Tulane. If you think Darnell Mooney will break out like I do, like the video. Hit that thumbs up icon if you think Darnell Mooney will have a breakout season. I think he could approach 1,000 yards. If you agree with me, just like this video. Let's go to Cole Komet, another second-year player here who flashed a little bit last year, but unlike Mooney, a lot more inconsistent, right? Like, it took the Bears a while to even play him a decent amount because there was more of a learning curve. You could tell that they fully didn't trust him yet, so they leaned more on the veteran uh, in Jimmy Graham this past season. But I think now that he'll get a full offseason of work, he'll get to do all the OTAs, the voluntary workouts, things that were not at his disposal this past year, and now that he's learned under a guy like Jimmy Graham for an entire year, I think he takes a step this year and he takes over as the top tight end option over Graham this year. The stats don't jump off the page. Like I said, he was inconsistent last year, but he came on strong late. He got more snaps the last month or so of the season, and I think you started to see Chicago really try to get him more involved. I don't think he's ever going to be like a Travis Kelsey type or a George Kittle. He's not that athletic, 
But I think he can be a better Kyle Rudolph if he maximizes his potential. I think he's a little more athletic. I think he's a similar uh, caliber of blocker that Kyle Rudolph is. I am expecting a jump from Cole Komet in year two. Doesn't mean he'll be a 1,000-yard guy or anything like that. But five, 600 yards, five, six touchdowns, I don't, think, I don't see why that can't be in the realm of possibility for Cole Komet. And then all of a sudden, you've got – you know, Komet is your top guy, and you still have Jimmy Graham, a guy you can use in the red zone, assuming he is on this final roster. I don't care about J.P. Holtz and the rest of these guys. You got your top two here in Komet, in Graham. If Komet can be a little more consistent, and if Graham still has red zone value, which he did last year with his eight touchdowns uh, for Chicago, that's pretty good. I think you're feeling pretty good about where the Chicago Bears sit at tight end, whereas Remember after 2019, literally the worst tight end group in the NFL. All of a sudden, things are pointing up for that position. Who will have the bigger impact at tight end in 2021? Do you think it'll be Cole Komet, or do you think it'll be Jimmy Graham? Type CK for Komet, type JG for Graham. I think it's going to be Komet. I think we should want it to be Komet. Doesn't mean Graham can't be impactful, though. CK for Komet or JG for Jimmy Graham. Before we get to my third player, I just want to tell you guys a couple of reasons why you should subscribe to Chicago Bears now. Number one, we go live every single Tuesday, 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Central. It's your opportunity to be involved in our mailbags, which is also listed as well, and uh, just to interact with one another in a live stream setting. Number two, daily videos. Don't just do live shows. Videos come out every single day on this channel. We will continue to do that. We cover the latest news rumors as well. I mentioned those mailbags and hey, help us out. Let's hit 28,000 subs as soon as possible. The link is below. It's youtube.com slash bears. Now, as we're filming this for like 400 subs away from 28K, we can only get there with your help. Greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe. My third guy here, and you guys might think this is a little bit of a curveball and you might be like, oh, I'm bored now. Offensive line. Well, you shouldn't be because we saw last year how critical an offensive line can be, right? And what we also saw is when Sam Mustafer took over as the starting center last year, things started to look up. This offensive line did a lot better. He started the final seven games at center this past season and played pretty well. I think he enters this year as the projected starter. I think the Bears want to give him that opportunity to be the starting center in Chicago. Now it's up to him to prove that he can be the long-term option there because the Bears have other options. They can kick Cody Whitehair back inside. They can put James Daniels at center if they want to, but I think ideally – Mustafer is your center, those other two guys are at guard, and you're feeling really, really good about how you sit on the interior of that offensive line. Played in eight games last year, only gave up the one sack. I like Sam Mustafer. He was rock solid last year. Now, do I ever think he can be an all-pro or something like that? No, but he doesn't need to be. Be a solid center. He plays like he did the last seven games last year. You live with that. You've got a young kid in Tevin Jenkins now that you're hoping can be your left tackle for a while. You can always kick him back to right tackle if he doesn't work out at left. You've got Cody Whitehair and James Daniels, as I mentioned, uh, holding down the fort at left and right guard. I think you feel good about that. That's your ideal scenario. This is your ideal starting offensive line for this year, and then eventually Larry Borum at right tackle as well. That's who, that's who you want to be your right tackle of the future. And then you're feeling pretty good. I love what I saw with Whitehair at guard last year. James Daniels was hurt, but I like the idea of him being your other guard as well. And then with Mustafer at center, that interior was impressive. They ran the football really, really well down the stretch this past year. And now with a more uh, dynamic offense, especially long term, with Justin Fields at quarterback, assuming he pans out, that makes it a lot easier as well because it's one thing to have a bad offensive line with an elite quarterback, but when you don't have a good quarterback either, it just it causes issues. It's just a big problem. If Fields is the real deal, it takes pressure off the big guys up front as well. So sound off in the comments. Is Sam Mustafer the long-term solution at center? Type Y for yes, type N for no. To be determined, we'll see what happens this year. I like what I saw last year, but – He's got to prove it for an entire season, and I think uh, he's got a good chance of doing so because I think the Bears will give him that opportunity. So just to recap the three breakout players I have for this Bears offense, number one, Darnell Mooney. Clear, I think he's going to take off this year. Number two, Cole Komet. I thought he finished strong last year. I think he'll carry that momentum into the offseason and on into the season. And then Sam Mustafer, kind of a wild card guy, but I'm excited to see what he can do on offense. Name one for me. We asked you at the beginning. We'll ask you guys one more time. Name a player on offense that you think will break out this year. Those are my three guys. Go ahead and get your votes in on who will break out this season.